Hey guys, Ron's a nut here. Um, just getting ready to uh, start the water cooling build um, into this uh, kick ass uh, TJ11. And uh, here's the case, and uh, the system currently has it set up right now. Okay, here's that uh, TJ11, and uh, it's going to be upgraded um, to add uh, water cooling. And what I have over here are the uh, water cooling items that I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to take you through uh, each one of them just briefly. And then uh, during the build, uh, I plan to um, show you the progress. And if it's something I haven't seen uh, posted before, I'll do my best to uh, also uh, show you, unbox it, and show you how it uh, goes together and gets installed. Okay, so here a little more detail is um, the uh, tubing, uh, Primo Chill UV Red, a uh, half inch by three quarter inch diameter tubing. I already checked it underneath uh, uh, UV light and that comes up pretty red. It's good. I've got some PCI. This is clear. I've used the UV blue before, but uh, the blue uh, doesn't really come out all that. It doesn't really strike strike you so I've got some clear and I have some mayhem's dye coming in the mail from UK it's not here yet so uh, but we'll see how that that looks when it comes um, one of the key things here is I have um, the uh, uh, Rampage Extreme <coughs> black edition motherboard and this is the chipset block for that so I've got that um, for a uh, radiator We've got an XSPC uh, 360 rad, uh, and that's the one designed for um, for um, uh, low speed fans, and uh, supposed to be really uh, really good. And then, as far as the fans that are going to go on there, I have some uh, some tree work. Um, Low speed, 120 by 20 by 55 fans, and I mean they're, they're pretty awesome. They come in this nice packaging and everything, and I'll I'll open them up. I think the plenty of people have shown them before, but I'll uh, I'll I'll show you those. Uh, the fan controller that's going to go be used in uh, in this puppy. Um, I already have one in the bay, but uh, this is a different one. This is the uh, uh, Cosmaster Pro. Uh, I've used this before in my uh, uh, Demos Tech uh, bench works great. Gives you both the uh, speed and temperature uh, if you want to run the probes for those. Uh, six channels. It's got uh, anyway. That's good. Um, we have here in order to connect up all the fans so I can control them better. I have a, a Bits Power um, uh, power control board here and. Uh, it has uh, blue LEDs on this particular one right here, but uh, that'll be for consolidating all of the connections and uh, making the cable dressing a little bit uh, nicer and easier. For the the chip, uh, there's a i7-990X on the um, Rampage 3, and this is going to get a Coolant CPU 370. And I do have the uh, special amount uh, the uh, and that comes with everything you need inside this guy here. Uh, the reservoir is a Coolance RP452 times two dual bay reservoir. I've used that uh, sucker before, and it's uh, it's awesome. And I'll be putting uh, two pumps on it, and uh, have the um, the connector that uh, allows me to use both bays. Uh -huh. That's the connector right here, 180 degree connector, and it's both the 1.3 revision of the uh, of the reservoir uh, pump that's going into the reservoir actually there are two of these it's the uh, MCP 655 pump or uh, Cool Lance's version is the PMP 450 and this sucker um, also has the uh, uh, the speed um, signal that's on this one as well the Swift Tech ones don't have that um, they are both adjustable uh, so they're all made by the same company. And then 
for the uh, reservoir you can put LEDs in there and I have uh, I bought a couple that one just blue and the other one is uh, UV and you can put a set of LEDs on either side of the reservoir so I'll show you what that's like when we do that and for more potential lighting I'm not sure if I'm gonna go all UV or I'm gonna also have this uh, blue light but this is a two meter uh, NZXT sleeved LED kit so I'll be testing that. I currently have some lights in the case now but uh, they're not all that bright and I'm not sure which way I'm gonna go yet sleeving to make sure everything looks good I've got a sleeving kit and a heat shrink I have everything that I need to dress up the ones that aren't already done so that's there um, in case I need it some uh, anti-kink coils so it's gonna be uh, black on red contrasts um, so that should look pretty cool and uh, here's some uh, 15 inch uh, UV cathode tubes and actually this one's sound activated you can turn it on or off but uh, we'll see what that sucker does for it and then one of the key things that I have used in other I've, I've not done a, a full system water cool build I did one on my Demos Tech Bench but one of the things that I have come to uh, swear by and live by our uh, the Coolance Quick Connect uh, Disconnect uh, fittings. Um, so I have uh, Quick Disconnect fittings that are going to hit every single uh, connection from the reservoir to the rad to the chipsets uh, and then back. I also have uh, some temperature sensors, so uh, so I can get a an idea of what the actual temp is in front of the uh, coming out of the rad. And then uh, I might put another one going back into the reservoir to see how hot the uh, CPU and the chipset get the uh, coolant. And there's also um, uh, a flow meter, a flow meter that'll be put in so I can see what my flows are. And then there's also a, a frequency adapter so that you can you connect to that flow meter. And then on your uh, fan readouts, it gives you actually. Uh, um, it actually shows you on the display what you're doing and then there's more of the fittings here's the male ones uh, threaded ones and then the compression ones and then I've got a couple Enzotech um, 45 degree swivel to come out of the radiator if I need them and then I have a, uh, a compression nozzle to mount the uh, flow meter in line somewhere so I hopefully I planned it out all right. And uh, oh, the other thing here is for the radiator. In order to put inside the uh, inside the cases, they're SPC uh, radiator mounts. So um, it's a three by one twenty mount. So I can stand it up in the base of the uh, of the TJ11. So that's where we're at right now. I'll show you how things progress. Thanks.